Bless you, bless you, bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel. You are watching me in Heaven and Earth Life program, the one we used to do every Monday to Friday. Every Monday to Friday, by the special grace of God. Today, I have a message to give to all of you. I have a message to give to all of you. I pray that the Lord God will help you and I in Jesus' mighty name. So before we go into the message, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, eternal rock of age, the life-giving God, the o Omega, the beginning and the end, the, the almighty Father. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God. We pray this morning. We pray this morning. We pray, Father, that you open your eyes, the eyes of your people, to see you, to see the great things about you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you, everyone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now, today we are going to talk about uh my encounter with jesus christ today today you see uh i have many messages to give but i don't know how i'm going to do it but i would just like to share this i have messages i have revelation that god gave to me as a warning to cac people who are going to cac and the cac church himself and I have also revelation for other churches, which Jesus mentioned to me, but I will not say that today. I will only talk on uh, what Jesus personally told me, which is very, very vital and very, very important in the Christian endom. So the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of another. Today, uh, today, I have an encounter with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, today, making Tuesday, the 18th of uh, October, 2022. 18th of uh, October, uh, 2022. So, I have an encounter with Jesus. I was in my, I was sleeping with my wife. It just that I was surprised, and uh, he sat beside my, he sat beside me on the bed, and he, and he just wake me up. So, as I wake up. He, he begin to uh, uh, he begin to point on some things, and as he was pointing it, it was his eyes was not too good. So that is where I go. I got to know about you making a little little mistake. I will call it a little mistake, but to him he didn't say it's a it's a little mistake. He didn't say it a little mistake. He see it as a big one to him. And to me, it's just it's a little mistake. You know, you can be talking and uh, uh, and uh, you, you don't place it the way it's supposed to be placed. So I want to use it as a medium to speak to everyone here. Yeah, hear me very well. A little mistake. He just said, he's pointed, he said, that's the video you do on the... Uh, the second heaven, my encounter with Satan in second heaven. He said, go and make correction now. I said, ah, correction. I said, where did that make mistakes? He said, in this area, in this area, you make mistakes there. I said, ah, 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 I do see it like that. But if you say it is a mistake in that area, I will go and uh, make amendment. I, I now said, Lord. I said, what? I should go, I, should, I will go and remove it. He said, do just remove it. Tell them that you make a mistake and you are going to correct it. Ah, I said, okay, sir. I said, okay, sir. He said, there are some things you're supposed to add and there are some things you're supposed to remove. I said, okay, sir. So what am I trying to say? The Bible talk in the Matthew, in the book of Matthew chapter 12. Open it. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12. We are going to Matthew chapter 12, verses uh, 36. Verses 36. Open it. 
that is 36. He said, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give an hand thereof in the day of judgment. That the seven says, he said, for by your word thou shalt be justified, and by your word thou shalt be condemned. By your word thou shalt be justified, and by your word thou shalt be condemned. Sometimes I pity Christians. I pity Christians. I pity Christians. The reason I'm saying that is the reason I'm saying that I pity Christians is because the way Christians of nowadays are living their life is extremely, is extremely far from the standard of God. Imagine I died before that time. Imagine he didn't come and tell me that little thing will have taken me to hell. People don't understand the gravity of you speaking. He said you will give her, he has already told you. So there's nothing like I didn't know before, sir. There's nothing like I didn't know before. He has already told you you will give a kind of every idle word that comes from your mouth. You will give a kind. <laughs> you will give a kind from every idle word. Some people, some Christians, their own is to gossip. Their own is to gossip. And they say they are going to heaven. Some pastor will come to the altar and begin to brass. They say, I go to Germany. And they have not even, they have never get to help us before. They will begin to lie on the altar. The miracle God didn't use them to do, they will say that God used them to do it. Don't forget, every idle word you speak, you will give a cut. This doesn't mean I do only. It means all the world. It might not be idle words, but all words. Necessity of you coming to God in repentance of all the words you have been saying this or this one, this one. If you see the way Jesus Christ doing in face, you will say, ah, this kind, and what he painted to me is just, is just that I didn't put it the way it's supposed to be. That's all. To me, I call it small thing. To him, he says it's not a small thing. The standard of heaven is different from a human being standard. If God can point out a thing that doesn't matter, to me, to me, he pointed how much more you, how much more you that talk evil in your heart, how much more you that hate your brother and your sisters, how much more you that live a life that displeases God, how much more you, how much more you, if God can be so angry. And tell me, go and make correction now. After I have had the encounter and I've done immediately, I saw it, I just wake up. I stand up for my bed, I dress up, and I come immediately to go and remove it. And immediately to do the video and send it immediately. Immediately to write it down and tell the people that this is what happens. And after I've done that, I go back to my bed. And I said, Father, I have done what you asked me to do. And then he said, I want to talk to you through the Bible, through the word, my word. And immediately I, he said, so I opened the word of God. As I opened the word of God, he said something there. He said, I defend you with my mercy. See that statement. I defend you with my mercy. It means there must be an accusation somewhere before God can defend me. I, I don't think you understand what it means for you to just speak or live your life anyhow. 
as a child of God. He said, I defend you with my mercy. It means Satan is somewhere there, accusing me there in heaven. That see Peter, see what is it? How he saw it? Is it how? Is it how? There's some area he did. And God said, Leave him alone. Leave him alone. He's my son. Don't accuse him here. And immediately come and meet me. He said, I defend you with my mercy. There are some people that I don't know how to say it. Maybe it's great. I can say grace. What if I've died? People will say he has go to hell. I mean, not so. And there's only one thing God is working on. He has told me, he said it earlier. I've said it before in some video. He has told me that I will take you to heaven. It's a promise. And his work cannot go without fulfillment. But I'm giving you too, for you to understand God. That the way of God is different from the way of man. You have to be careful of the way you think, the way you talk. Be careful from the word that comes from, because the angels are writing them. Angels are writing them. You will be in trouble. You care if not taking. You will be in trouble. Angels are writing them. Be careful of how you preach. Be careful of how you talk. Be careful of how you come into matters. Be careful of that brother or sister that is gossiping about somebody else. <laughs> Be careful. It is dangerous. It is dangerous. You cannot just. <sighs> They are angels writing it down. When they talk things to you, what is your reply? You are judging without hearing the second side. It is dangerous. They are angels writing it down. Be careful. Just a single thing. Assume you have gone. What will have happened? What will have happened? But he said, I defend you with my mercy. What did that do to God? What did I do to deserve it? But grace speak. If it, mercy prevail over judgment. Allah baku Allah. He said, I pre, I I I pre, I I defend it with my mercy. With my mercy. As God defend you, you do even know your way. You don't know whether you're going to help yourself. You don't even know. As you are, you don't even know whether you are going to go or not. You are not even sure of heaven. You are not even, you don't even know. You don't, no, but you don't have assurance. Whether there's even heaven where you are. Because your life is not to accord to God's way. Anger is there. Pride is there. So much you don't angry. So God already has seen you as a, this one is not my child. Pride is there. Iniquity is living in your body, in your soul, in your spirit. Your life is full of iniquity. Transgressions is all about your life. Lust is there. You think evil thing about people, about things. Oh God, have mercy. How you are not God has seen and said this one is not serious. <laughs> I don't think this one is coming here. And you are serving God in your own eyes. Hey, be careful. Carefulness to be taken. Do you know what killed that guy in the Bible? That brother. He came to David. Yeah. He said, Ah, long life, David. I want to come and give you news now. A joyful news, a glad news. David said, What happened? He said, King Saul has died. Immediately, David he said, Ah, 
How did he die? He said, oh, sir, for your sake, sir. As I see him, I just cut off his head. I killed him there. David tear his clothes to him was saying, <laughs> my kick is very happy. He said, David know the news of Saul. After David have cried, he, now said, he said something, probably because the statement David said got me to understand that probably God has spoken to him on one way or the other, he has known. He said, you have used your mouth to kill yourself. He said, oh yeah, come here. Kill him there. And they kill the boy. And the truth of the fact is that he was not the one who killed Saul. Saul killed himself. But his mouth implicated him. In the book of James, James chapter 2 or 1 or so, you can open it. He said, if you are perfect in all the law, if you are perfect in your tongues, with the half of your mouth, he said you are perfect in everything. It matters. It matters. Don't say it doesn't matter. It matters. If the word of God has said, he said, if you are perfect, chapter 10, if the one that come, he said, my brethren, be not many master, knowing that we shall receive greater condemnation. Yes? So when you come, in verse 2, he said, for in many things we offend all. You see? If any man offend not in word, in word, in word, the same is a perfect man and able also to bring to the whole body. You see? If any man is able, just word, this word, they talk, you did, mm, 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 mm. you didn't reply. You are watching replying things. Hey, he said, okay, are you sure? Really? Oh, wow, that's serious. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. They said that he's talking about, you said that your head is not correct. He said, are you sure? My head? Okay, how did he explain it? And by the time he says, okay, 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 God forgive him in Jesus' name. If you can be perfect in word, he said, does the man, he said, you are perfect in everything. It means you are even qualified for heaven. The Bible doesn't talk about. So you have to be very careful of the way you live your life. I was having another plan for the Bible. The message I have before is another thing entirely. But as time goes, as I want to come, I say, let me give you this message. Because some people will talk to their husband anyhow and they are looking for heaven. Don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Some people will talk to their wife anyhow and they are looking for heaven. Don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Some people will talk to their children anyhow. They will just talk anyhow to their children. Don't deceive yourself. Because there is accountable. You are going to give account. And that account is dangerous. It's just not, no, it's not just ordinary account. It's dangerous account. Then you don't forget. That's why as a Christian, you're supposed to be talking too much. Hey, yeah, uh, they have done this, they have done this, they have done that. Hey, yes, yes, uh, clinical. Don't bite it. You're talk, 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 talking too much. If you talk too much, you'll be in trouble. You talk too much because you will see, yeah. You will see. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Yes, I know, I know. Begin to talk, 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 talk. Show, 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 show. It will lead it to hell. I pray you will not go to hell in the name of Jesus. And from this, this is my candid advice for everyone that is listening to me and that are watching me right now. That are from today, number one things that you need to, uh, to to uh to to do right now ask for mercy for all the sins of this peace 
you have done. If there's anyone you remembered, go and make restitution. If there is none, just ask God for mercy to ask for the blood to wipe it off, to wipe it off, so that God can be God. God can show you mercy. Then the second one is that uh, uh, as a Christian, I want you to be very careful with your words. The Bible says, "Be slow to reply." He said, "Be fast to listen, but slow to reply." You will not listen well before you talk blah, 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 with your tongues. You will not even ask the Holy Spirit, "How should I say it?" You will just talk anyhow because this person is junior to you, or the person is not up to your age, or because the person is not up to your standard, or because of I don't know. You just talk anyhow, so you have to start be careful now of how you do things. Then the Lord also threw me some other revelations about those who have trauma mark on their body, tattoo, those who have tattoo on their body, and those who have trauma mark on their body, or those who have uh, those who have this um, all those uh, mark of the abalis mark on their body, or those who draw something in their body. The Lord gave me a message about that. So probably it's not going to be today. So probably next time I will I will do it with you. God bless you. The Lord be with you in Jesus' name. Uh, please before you go, subscribe to this channel and make sure that you press the notification button. Make sure that you press it. It's very very important. Make sure you press it. Uh, God bless you. God be with you in Jesus' name. See you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, thank you.